Anything can happen. That's why we're hoping for the very best for these first responders. We don't know this. This woman could have a gun. Yeah, we've gotten very little information about this uh, yep. event. I don't know if that's to protect um, the safety of people there right now, to protect her safety. Oh, it looks like she's actually okay. getting out. Okay, all right, here we go. Um, your discretion is advised, folks. Yeah, we have to warn you guys if you have kids in the room or anything. We don't know how this yeah. one's going to react. Okay, it looks okay. Can't tell if she is under the influence right now or if she... Oh, she's wrapping a cord around her neck, everybody. Everyone be um, aware this could be a situation that you might not want to see. We are going to have to jump out pretty soon here. Let's hope those first responders get up there before she makes this move here that I think that we know. She, okay, she took it off her neck. Okay, let's viewer discretion, heavily advised everyone. I'm got to be ready to pull it in at any time. I'm going to Okay, looks like she... All right, we're okay. gonna have to, we're just gonna yep. have to go to another event here, folks, for the moment here. We're gonna keep our eyes on this because we do not want to show anything that could be she very hasn't, disturbing. Yeah. She hasn't jumped, so we'll keep you guys updated on that. She has not jumped. She's sitting on the edge right now, but God forbid she jumps when we're on the air, you guys. We yeah. just don't want you to have to see that. That's something that we have to protect you guys from. Yes, so we are, that's why we pulled it. We had to pull it. And, um, we're keeping an eye on this right now, you guys. We're going to keep an eye on it. She's just sitting on the ledge with her feet dangling right now. Let's just hope those first responders get up there. Oh, man. Is she going to jump? Oh, man. She's, she's, she's getting very close. She's right on that edge. Yeah, I know. Oh boy, oh, folks. Oh, so, mm. oh my gosh. And you guys, I know that you can't see on your screen right we now. We just can't but show you. Yeah. We are trying to verbalize what we're seeing. Uh, unfortunately, we just think it's a little too graphic to show everybody. She's holding on to the rail right now. What do you think about this, Mike? Uh, it's bad. She almost looked like she was going to jump, and now she's crawled back inside. We can show you. Here's what we are looking at, and it, it was getting it was getting pretty bad there. She was hanging on the edge. We don't know what's happening, but we got to be very careful. That's why we hope you didn't mind, but we just didn't want it to be graphic to some people. Yeah, I think that was a good decision, Mike, because we it really looked like she was about to jump, and she might still jump. Yes. So. So I'm, I just have, I, right now, everyone, I do have my hand on the device to pull to another shot if we have to. So I'm ready. Just to let everyone know, viewer discretion now is heavily advised. This is a, uh, as you can see, those um, SWAT team members did not come any higher once she got, once she got out of that cab. Is that because they, they have to protect They're themselves? Yeah, okay. and here we go. So now we, we, we see the, a man coming up a little higher. So, I mean, hopefully these guys can talk her down. They're skilled at this. They're professional negotiators of getting people to get down and save their lives. Yeah. So hopefully they will be able to save this life today. Okay, so you can see there. there's four men there right now. Just, just underneath just a there. Well, floor below. Just a floor below. So she keeps, she, she keeps taking it off her neck and then putting it back yeah. on. Obviously, she's conflicted. Um, we don't know if she's under the influence. How long have you been covering this, Michael? It's been almost hour, two hours. No, right? hour and 15 minutes. Hour. Right when, Right when we switched. Wow. We, right when we switched our, uh, when I came on here, I had it. Hey, do we know if she's from that homeless encampment? I okay, we're going to continue to, you know, and to be careful here. 
and there he is looking up at her. You know, it's really interesting, these professional negotiators with suicidal people, um, you know, they, they're trained to know exactly what to say, exactly how far to stay away, and what to do, no quick movements to keep her calm and to get the go-ahead to get up there and get her down safely. It's, it's pretty hard work. With yes, guys yes. Looks like she's putting a bucket in between her, right? Yeah, I'm wondering what she's got in that bucket there. I don't know why she keeps uh, tipping it over. It looks like she's sticking her hand in it. Okay, you can see that they are talking to her now. We have the... This was such a close call, everybody when we had to cut out, she was dangling over the edge. Yeah. Okay, they're, they might go and just try to grab her legs and pull it, pull it really quick. So they're moving that there's a, bucket. There's a bucket. Wow. Now, is there any... There's no cage there right right behind her. What do you mean? Oh, it's It's all open up. air? It's a, is she it, just... Yeah, because, yeah, see the things she's yeah. leaning against? That's a pole. She yeah. had her legs through that yes, dangling yes. over. So, um, so it's still pretty dangerous. If she leaned back the wrong way, she could fall. So hopefully she'll stay seated up and doesn't make any drastic movements. But with situations like this, they know that the person is emotional, possibly erratic. You know, they don't they don't want her to make a rash decision, so they have to be really slow they about got it. This. Looks like they got it. Yeah, they got her. She's right. backing up a little bit. They're moving that bucket out. Great job by these uh, negotiators here. Yeah, that's got to be a really tough job. Here she is. She looks like she's she's backing away from them now. Yeah, she's backing up. And she's grabbing that rope again, or that cord that she was using before to tie around her neck that we saw earlier. Yeah, that's when we we had to pull it for a little bit here. Have, I mean, have you ever covered something like this before on the show, Mike? Not nah, when this it's is, been. This is this is more tense than a police chase. Yeah, this is. Um, I couldn't believe when I saw she she. Okay, she's tying that around her neck again, but she's staying seated up, so it looks like, you know, it's just sort of a a threat to say, stay away, yeah. give me my space. Okay, it looks like he's going to, what does it look like he's doing, Mike? Might be trying to go around the other side. Yeah, I mean, I would try to just yank her leg. So everyone, if you've been watching, if you're just joining us here and wondering, okay, what exactly has happened? Well, for the last hour and 15 minutes, the woman was inside the cab right there on, on top of this crane that's about 180 feet up above right there in downtown LA. And about three minutes ago, when the first responders were getting up there, she walked out of the cab and then started to do some very scary things that we had to even pull away from the camera. Yeah, she was sitting um, inside that cab, that, you know, that, that white box you see there that says Potain on the side of it. Um, she was in there for almost an hour, you said, Mike? I mean... Yes, this has been long. And again, this is in Los Angeles, you guys. It's been over an hour and a half now. Um, and these first responders are really skilled in uh, crisis negotiation, where they negotiate with people in suicidal situations or life-threatening situations like this to get them down in a healthy manner. I'm just looking at some of the um, ways that they can negotiate with these people. You know, it's uh, active listening, empathy, the way they speak, influence, let them know that they can trust you. 
all these different strategies to try and get the person down safely. It's kind of interesting. Hopefully, they'll be able to get her down safely. Okay, we are still watching this very tense moment where this woman was locked inside of that cab there for over an hour, and then first responders came. Then she be, she got very close to the edge, and we had to we had to jump out for just a little bit. Right, it was just getting too much. Yeah, I mean that was uh, that was scary. Yeah, seeing her legs dangling over the edge there, and you guys, I mean. We have no commercials here. We don't edit anything. We show you, you know, more than you would ever see on TV. But sometimes when it gets to be very graphic, just out of respect for all the viewers, we do need to cut out sometimes. Yes. Right, Mike? Yeah. And like I was saying earlier, everyone, anything can happen. And that's why we always say viewer discretion, heavily advised. Yeah, because, I mean, even the police chases that we cover, we cover, you know, at least four or five a month here. And they all end differently, some very violently and others peacefully. But yep. you just never know. And some people can, you know, be upset by what they see at the end of a really graphic chase. So, um, hopefully. Well, I would just hope at this moment that, that one guy that's close to her can at least yank her legs and just drag her out. Yeah, I'm wondering, what is, um, what's the rule here? I mean, do you just have to be as, as slow and, you know, calm as possible around her? Or once you get a clear moment to grab her do you grab her i mean i don't I know would. what the rule is i think once you have that opportunity you got yeah. you got to take it down well, you know it's interesting because these people are so skilled in communication and really getting into the psyche of someone that's in a situation like this where they're trained to get you to trust them and to give in to them yes. very easily, yes. but they don't always have success, and I think that's why that job is hard, because the people that you can't get down, that can be really difficult in that job. Does it look like they are getting her? Looks like they have her. Oh, great. Looks like, right? Looks like they... Looks like they are, yeah, looks like they're getting on top of her. You see some people walking by that don't even know what's going on right now. Yep, um, yep. Right above them here in this crane. So they're about 180 feet above right now. Very high, very scary. I'm just wondering how they're going to get her down. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a great question, too. Not I mean, like I don't think she's going to walk down with them. That'd be great if she did. She did. Like, uh, they it's might. Hard to see, but they've got her for sure. Yeah, they got her for sure. Maybe they're just tying her up. Yeah, because um, what happens from here? Isn't the protocol you get her down and then you know usually they they try and get you to oh, you know yeah, definitely. seventy two hour. Yeah, she'll be a ninety six hour hold. Hold where they can kind of get her to relax and talk to her about yep. you know, what's wrong and everything like that. Um, so glad. That they wow! Were able to get her. I mean, that is a shocking scene when you see someone about to end yeah. their life. Oh yeah, that was that was the scariest thing I saw here on the stream, and uh, that's why we had to pull out for just a couple of minutes there. We were able to tell you what was going on, but I, 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 I mean, my son, I couldn't look. Yeah. I, if I, I feel like if we are unable to look, I, it's just something yes. you gotta respect. Um, yeah, got to respect that editorial decision there. And also, too, you know, her family wouldn't want us to broadcast that. No. So that's just out of respect for her and her family as well. Yeah. So I think that was a good okay. choice. Okay, well, I'm just so glad this is, uh, looks like it's going to be all all right here. Whew. I'm like. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And you know what? Those guys, you know, I mean, they're trained in this, but they, I'm sure, climbing up that crane, you, you said how far is it? It's, you know, over... What, 200 feet or something like that and it's you they got to climb all the way up there get yes. her down without falling themselves it's very dangerous oh it's dangerous i know that's why I, oh look at this oh my gosh i just i'm so happy that they were able to sort of I mean, right now it looks like they are trying to sort of restrain her get her down safely i couldn't believe it when i saw her putting that wire around her yep. neck i mean that's that's the moment when we're like all right yeah we got to be careful 
Uh, people keep asking if it's a man. We 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 keep being told by law enforcement that it's a woman. Um, so that's yeah. what we're reporting. That's just what the police are saying to us. Mm. Wow! 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 So we're just trying to still look, everyone. It looks like they might just be trying to tie her up. Maybe tie tie the legs up. Yeah, I think once you've got her, you've got to just restrain her. Not because you know she's dangerous to anybody else. Maybe it's just you know she's dangerous to herself. They want to protect her. Um, and you know, once they've got her, they want to get her down safely and get her to a hospital. Yep. Mm. But this is, guys, this has been going on now for 90 minutes. Yeah, and I, I'm not a, I can't tell if she's under the influence or if she was just distraught. It's hard to tell at this point. Um, but, I mean, she climbed all the way up that crane and was just hiding in there. And everyone that wants us to get a closer shot, unfortunately, we just can't control the helicopter. Helicopter is out in L.A. We're in Phoenix. Yeah, we can't give you guys any audio right now or control where he's flying, but we are able to give you guys updates.